Welcome to an overdue updated what I eat in a day. Well, every morning I start with my Bloom greens and superfoods, clearly stocked up. I have coconut and I have mango, but today I decided to go with mango. I always start my day with this because this prevents me from being bloated and it really, really helps my digestion. You guys know I've been drinking this stuff forever. I literally feel the difference when I travel and I forget to bring it with me. But after that, I have some egg whites with some gluten-free avocado toast. It's really simple for me because I'm not good at cooking and it's just really filling. For lunch, I had a salad. Cheers to not being good at cooking. So I try to do everything as simple as possible. And for dinner, I had some chicken fajitas. I normally do rice for the side, but I just wasn't feeling it tonight. And it was so hot. Like I did not let my food cool down and I felt like a little kid. I had to blow on it. You can literally see the steam. But yeah, that's everything I ate in the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and stay hydrated. What I ate in Mexico City, day five. My friend had an early flight out, so I had half a day to myself. I had to stop at the Tamales Street Cart one more time. It's the best smell I've ever had, and it was only a dollar. I also got a zapote a few days ago, but it never ripened, which is so sad. After that, I checked out, and I got lunch at Expendio de Maíz Sin Nombre that specializes in corn dishes, and they don't have a menu, so the server brings you various dishes until you tell them to stop. The dining experience was really unique, and I also met someone from Germany who was also dining alone at my same table, so I made him join my TikTok. I wouldn't say I loved every dish because everything was pretty earthy, which isn't my favorite, but I did get to try wheat lacoche, which is a fungus that grows on corn that I did want to try again ever since I had it a few years ago. I also stopped by El Pascadito for some fish and shrimp tacos, which are honestly just okay, but when I got to the airport, I realized I never drank my guava juice, so I had to chug it before security, and then I cried because I love Mexico City so much and didn't want to leave. I love the food, the people, the culture, the weather, and I definitely want to come back. Also caught this beautiful sunset on the way back, and as a bonus, we were basically racing the southwest plane as we were landing, and we won, bitch. Okay, bye. If you want to know what I ate today as I recovered from a binge eating disorder while traveling to Japan, just keep watching. I'm at the airport now and it wasn't until around 12pm that I started to get some food. Getting Subway wasn't my number one option, but churches was closed at the time so I had to go and get my veggie foot long. I only ate half my sandwich and I saved the rest for later and I shared this cookie with my sister. Around 2pm we were served food on the plane and I got the chicken teriyaki. I know a lot of people don't like airplane food, but I kind of think it slaps, I thought it was so good. I don't think it's 5 star Michelin, but it does the job really well. I also like that it comes with a lot of side dishes. Then for dessert, they gave us this Mario Gelati ice cream. It is vanilla bean. But you know me, I'm not big on desserts or ice cream, so after eating half of it, I gave the rest to my sister. I did the same thing for the side dishes on my meal as well. Near the end of our trip and around 10pm home time, that's when they served us breakfast. We were served a sandwich that had cheese and turkey and a side dish of fruits and Greek yogurt. After arriving at the airport, we stopped by 7-Eleven, and this is where I got some food to go on the train. I grabbed a green tea as well as an onigiri, and my onigiri is a shrimp and mayonnaise, and you can see how much I love it. I love onigiri so much. Also, for those who don't know, onigiri is a rice ball. The train took us to Shibuya, which is where our hotel is at, and after we were settled, we went outside to find a kombinia again, and this time we went to Family Mart. At Family Mart, I grabbed two more onigiris. You're gonna see me do this a lot because I really love onigiris. And here I got the salmon one and the tuna and mayonnaise. I ate them back at the hotel and that's where my night ended. How did you guys do? All right, babes, what I eat in a day on Thursday. And it's an eventful one. I started the morning with an Alpen bar. I was working different hours at work today, so I worked earlier than usual. But best believe I worked on my bed. But honestly, it was a gorgeous morning. I actually quite liked it. I listened to Taylor Swift all morning because I'm going to a Taylor Swift night tomorrow and I'm supposed to be going to see Taylor Swift on Graham Norton tonight. Spoiler alert, I didn't. I got a little PR package from Intune CBD drinks, so I'll be trying these soon and letting you know how they are. Then for lunch, I had buffalo chicken wings with a spicy mango chicken salad. Salad. It was so good. I had some seven up as well. I am literally such a slut for chicken wings at the minute. I can't cope with it. Then I watched some Dragula on my lunch break because I ate that. And then I had a ginger shot as well because I've not been eating that healthily this week and I feel a bit grim. So let's get that health. Ginger shot is like my enemy, but my lover at the same time. I love it, but it always gets me every single time. I had an M&S biscuit and another Alpin Jaffa cake bar. It was really good. And then we headed to the television center. We had tickets for Graham Norton, but they oversell it a little bit just to make sure if no one turns up that they've got backups. And we arrived about 20 minutes too late. And they didn't let us in. They said, you're going to get in, don't worry. And then at the last minute, they went, you know. Oh, well, life goes on. And as you can see there, we saw Alison Hammond. So it's all worth it. So then me and Dylan went to Pete's Pilgrims. I had a double pepperoni and honey with white truffle sauce and a Diet Coke. Good night. Hi guys, let's do a little what I eat in a day. As a college student, I don't track anything, eat very intuitively. I'm also vegetarian, so I started my day off with a half gallon of water. And then I had my greens, either one from Bloom, the mango flavor, they're the best flavor. I also like to add ice to them. And yeah, they just make me feel like that girl. And then I had a protein shake with banana, 
collagen protein powder spinach cinnamon it was such a good shake like oh look at that color and then i had a salad that i eat every day it has tofu and then i also had a bubbly that was coconut um pineapple it was very good then i had a think bar before the gym then i went to trader joe's got some jicama sticks if you've never had jicama you're missing out then i had some soup because if you can hear i'm sick and then i had a little greek yogurt and then tea and i went to bed what I eat in a day is a fat person trying to recover from binge eating. So for breakfast, I had two scrambled eggs, two pieces of bacon, a piece of watermelon, and a blueberry muffin. This was so good, and lots of water. And then for lunch, I made a turkey sandwich, Ritz crackers with borscht and cheese, an orange soda, and then chili and cornbread for dinner. I did a video on this if you want to check it out. What I eat and drink at the cutest coffee shop in Daytona, Florida. It took some searching, but I finally found her. She was so cute. I had a mocha latte. It was a delicious. And then I went over to Renee and saw he had this little dish, and it was their complimentary bread pudding bar. So good. It was so soft, and I loved the little drizzle on the top. And then we got a sandwich that I need to recreate at home. Cranberry mayo, turkey, apples, brie. Perfect for the fall. Is what eating today, trying to drop 17 kilos, half term edition. Start my morning off, nice little coffee in bed there, watching a bit of morning TV. Lunch with skips, a cheese string, and a chicken wrap. Are you even eating a cheese string properly if you don't pull it apart like this? You're an absolute animal if you eat it otherwise. Little iced coffee there. Had a cheeky Greg sausage roll. What about her? Then it was time for the annual Murphy Farley pumpkin off. Who do you think is the best? I'll let you in. I won. I was number seven. Little Fanta Zero and ended the night with a little chicken pizza there. Ran out of cheese, so use cheese strings instead. Good morning. I'm taking you on a what I eat in a day. We are on vacation. So I'm going to show you everything that I eat on vacation to help me stay on track because I don't want to wake up bloated every single day of vacation. First things first, I had cold brew today. I didn't film it, but you know, just picture cold brew with a splash of cream. Okay, this is my go-to high protein breakfast super simple it's like 12 30 now so i'm gonna have one of these little snacks this is the turkey cheddar and dark chocolate nut clusters oh, my hair keeping my lunch kind of low carb so i have some grilled chicken leftover caesar salad and some green beans after eating that i have a sweet tooth so i'm gonna have some grapes and probably have a bunch of these actually i just always have to eat something sweet anyone else I forgot to film my dinner, but this is what I had. KFC fries, slap. What I eat in day part four. Today I'm having a high protein meal of scallops before I exercise. I actually haven't even had a bath and I'm still in my jammies, but I am going to be exercising. So I'm eating some scallops. Eat meat and be happy, eat protein. What I eat in a day. Who has two red pepperonis for breakfast? As you know, we're on the hunt to find the best cheese and onion sandwich. So we tried the Asda one, and I'm not gonna lie, it was better than Tesco. The filling was right to the crust. It was literally seeping out. So I give it 8.5. Then I tried this new Coke, and it's not for me. It's like fruity Coke. Baby bells, say it with me. Full moon, half moon, total eclipse. <laughs> the best yogurts made in this whole entire world, Milky Bar yogurts. Absolutely gorgeous. Then I made these Halloween cookies. Although they don't look great, they tasted all right, to be fair. I forgot how much I love quavers. Then for tea, we went down to Germans on a kebab and I had the pink kebab again. This kebab is absolutely stunning. It's like a pink peshwari naan. You need to try this if you haven't already. And on a Tuesday, they do two for one. Winner, winner, kebab for dinner or tea. Then I got a Friol thin milkshake. These are stunning. Healthy meals I eat.